Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Ali Hader, and uh, today I will be giving lecture on pharmacology, that is the lecture number four. Uh, poisons, toxins, and drug molecules properties. Poisons are drugs that have most explosively harm, harmful effects. Power uh, paralysis famous chemistry statement that dose makes the poison, meaning that any substance can be harmful if taken in the wrong dose. Dosage toxins. Uh, are usually defined as poisons of biological origin be synthesized by plants or animals in contrast with organic poisons such as leaves and arsenic to interact to interact chemically with its receptors a drug molecule must have appropriate size electrical charge shape and atomic composition furthermore a drug is often administered at a distance from its intended side fraction e.g. For example, a pill given orally to relieve a headache. Therefore, a useful drug must have the necessary properties to be transported from the site of administration to the site of action. Finally, a practical drug should be inactivated or excreted from the body at a reasonable rate so that its action will be of appropriate duration. Physical nature of drug drug may be solid at room temperature. For example, aspirin or atropine be good. For example, nicotine, ethanol, or gases. For example, nitrous oxide. These factors often determine the best route of administration. The various classes of organic compounds, carbohydrates, protein, liquids, and their constituents are all represented in pharmacology. Polypeptides in the form of small segments of RNA have entered clinical trials and are on issue of introduction into therapeutics. Number of useful or dangerous drugs are inorganic elements, for example, lithium, iron, and heavy metals. Many organic drugs are weak acids or bases. The fact has important implication for the way they are handled by the body. Uh, for example, because pH difference in the various compartments of the body may alter the degree of addition of such drugs. Drug size: the molecular size of drugs varies from small lithium. Point, uh, to a very large uh, at base uh, TPA to protein of molecular weight of 59050. However, most drugs have molecular weight between 100 and 1000. The pure limit of this narrow range is probably set by the requirements for specificity of action. To have a good fit to only one type of receptor, a drug molecule must be sufficiently unique in shape, charge, and other properties to prevent its binding to other receptors. To achieve such selective binding, it appears that a molecule should in most cases at least 100 kilowatt units in size. The upper limit in molecule uh, weight is determined primarily by the requirement two drugs must be able to move within the body. For example, from the site of administration to the site of action, drug must larger than molecular weight of 1000 do not be placed readily within the compartments of the body. Therefore, very large drugs, uh, for example, dairy proteins, must often be administered directly into the compartments where they have their effects. Drug reactivity and drug receptor bonds. Drugs interact with receptors by means of the chemical forces of bonds. There are three major types covalent, electrostatic, and hydro hydrophobic. Covalent bonds are very strong and in many cases not reversible under biological conditions. Thus, the covalent bond form the acetyl group of acetyl salicylic acid aspirin and then the cyclooxygenase its enzyme target in platelets is not readily broken. The platelets aggregation blocking effects of aspirin last longer after free acetyl salicylic acid has disappeared from the bloodstream about 3 minutes and is reversed only by the synthesis of new enzymes in new platelets, a process that takes several days. Other examples of highly reactive covalent bond Drugs are DNA annihilating agents used in cancer chemotherapy to disrupt cell repair mechanism. Thank you very much. Till next time, take care. Allah Hafiz.